In today's video, I'll be showing you how to write and optimize blog posts using Claude and Neuron Writer to increase the likeness of ranking on the first page of Google. Let's go ahead and get started. So even before you start writing your blog post, you need to first validate that keyword idea or blog post topic that you have. And that comes through doing in-depth keyword research. So for this example, I'll be using SERPstat. This is a new keyword research tool that I've been using, and it's pretty good at giving us um, some data points. The one data point that I really like is you're able to paste in a website. So for example, I've pasted in HubSpot.com, and I'm able to filter by keywords that they've recently started ranking for. So these could be newer keywords that um, websites within your niche are ranking for, which gives you opportunity to find those keywords and then write on those keywords. Um, because if they're fairly new, they'll be easier to rank for. So again, in order to find these keywords, just paste in that domain, do a keyword research analysis and click on new keywords and you'll be able to see a list of new keywords. So from this list, we can see a variety of keywords that have a high and lower keyword difficulty. And we can also see the volume on the right hand side of those specific keywords. The rule of thumb is you want to find a keyword that's not too difficult to go after, but also a keyword that has a decent search volume. And you also want to go after keywords that make sense. So for example, designing brand logo has a keyword difficulty of 65 and a search volume of 4.4. And this would be a very difficult keyword to go after because um, when you're trying to design brand logo, you may need to have videos and you may need to have an actual software that allows you to design brand logos rather than an actual, just a blog post. So this may not be the best keyword to go after. So we can continue going through these lists to find keywords that have a low keyword difficulty and a high volume for a competitor within our niche. If we scroll down, we'll see the keyword how to answer weakness questions in an interview. And it has a keyword difficulty of one and a search volume of 720. So if you're in that niche, then this would be a pretty good keyword to go after. Reason is, is because it's an actual search term that people will often search up and it is a um, fairly good um, topic or keyword in which you can create a blog post around. So this is the main keyword. And if we scroll down, we'll see variations of that keyword that again, we can use within our blog post. So for this example, we'll be trying to rank for the keyword, how to answer the weakness questions in interviews. So now that we have our keyword, let's head over to Nuon Writer and we're going to start a new query. If you don't know exactly what Nuon Writer is, essentially it's a content optimization tool. You paste in the keyword in which you're going after and Nuon Writer will pull all of the most important ranking factors for that keyword into one place. So essentially you'll be able to then um, create a blog post that is catered and optimized for the first page of Google that will ideally outrank the competitors. So once that query has been loaded up on Neuron Writer, you need to click on that query. Next up, you'll be able to see the competitors for guidelines generation. So essentially, this is going to be the competitors in which you'll be going after. Now, if there's a competitor like Amazon or Facebook or Walmart, you want to deselect those websites because it's not going to be relevant to your website. So you can also go ahead and click more websites if you like to have a large variety of competitors in which you're going after. But essentially, this is where your blog post will be sized up against. You're going to be sized up against these specific blog posts. Let's go ahead and click next. And now this is where we'll see our content editor. This is where you'll be able to paste your content in once you create it with Claude. Now, usually what I do is I create the content with Claude and then I come back and optimize it. But for this workflow, I'll be creating an article draft in Nuon Writer. So essentially, Nuon Writer has went ahead and grabbed all of the H1, H2, and H3 tags and questions. And I'll be creating our outline within Nuon Writer. And then I'll be pasting that outline into Claude. So let's start by including our H1. So weakness for job interviews, how to answer the question. So that's two H1s. I think that's more than enough for H1s. Now let's go ahead to our H2s. Best answer for what is your weakness? What are your greatest weakness? And we can see here that HubSpot is um, ranked on the first page of Google. So we're able to get their H1s and their H2s. Next, let's go ahead and add a couple other H2s. Why do employers ask? And you don't want to be too repetitive. You want to make sure that you're adding um, variations of H2 so that you're having a much well-rounded article. Okay, unlocking 50 common interview questions. That's a pretty good one. Tips for talking about your weakness, 25 plus examples of weaknesses for a job interview. Okay, so that's pretty good. Well, let's go ahead and head over to our H3s. Can I lie about my weaknesses in a job interview? This is very relevant. 
What weaknesses should I avoid mentioning? Okay, that's a good one. Choosing a weakness that will not prevent you from succeeding in the role. Again, another pretty good H3. Now we can also head over to our questions. So these are going to be the most important questions that people have asked in relation to this keyword. So what is the best answer to weakness? How do you respond? What are examples? What is your strengths? What to say when an interview asks about your weaknesses? And so on. So these are pretty good. So as you can see here, we got a fairly decent output here that we've used from um, from New Iron Writer. So what we can do now, we can either save this or we can copy this over to the editor. And you can see right away, we already have a score of 22. So this is jumped because we've went ahead and included those H1s and those H2 um, tags from New Iron Writer. So now that we have our outline, let's head over to Claude. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to prime the AI. So first I've told Claude that you are an expert blog post writer specializing in writing SEO optimized blog posts. What are some things that you need to keep in mind to write SEO optimized blog posts that outranks competitors? And here are some tips for writing SEO optimized blog posts that can help you outrank your competitors. So it's going to give us a variety of things in which we need to follow. So next I've told it to keep these tips in mind when writing and everything you write in the next sections is going to be to outrank the blog post competitors for the keyword, how to answer the weakness questions in interview. So now it's went ahead and started to write that article, but we don't really want it to do so. So I'm going to stop it here and just tell it to um, just say whether or not you understand this response. So now that Claude is primed, let's go ahead and copy over our um, outline that we generated with New One Writer. So I've told Claude to use the SEO tips above, but also take into consideration the outlines below that we generated from New Writer to write an SEO optimized outline for the blog post. Always write in Markdown and do not just copy the outline, but include your own outlines and be unique. So I've went ahead and pasted in the um, the outlines here from New Writer. So now let's go ahead and see what we're able to get back from Claude. OK, so here is the output that we got back in terms of the outline. How to skillfully answer what is your biggest weakness in a job interview, why interviewers ask you about your weakness, choosing a weakness to discuss, answering the question, example, response, what not to say, and a conclusion. So this is a pretty good outline that we're able to get back here. Pretty happy with this. So let's go ahead and continue to writing the full article. Since we use New and Writer to generate our outline, I'm pretty confident that the terms in headers will be there. So let's go ahead and copy all of the terms in articles. So these are going to be the terms that you need to include naturally throughout your article for keyword density and to be able to um, rank for variations of your main keyword. So I've copied those over. So now I'm going to tell Claude to write the full article, but include these um, these keywords naturally throughout the article. The prompt that I'm using on Claude is to write the full article, be as in depth as possible, write long, engaging paragraphs with multiple examples, case studies and relevant content. Always write in markdown and in a human like engaging tone. Include lists, tables, and bolded words. Include lists, tables, and bolded words. Also include these keywords naturally throughout the article. And I've went ahead and pasted in the keywords that we got back from um, New Iron Writer. So I'm pretty confident in the optimization of this blog post. And that's because we used New Iron Writer to create our outline. And then we used um, Claude to take that outline and use it and create your own unique outline. So we know it's using all of the most important H1 h2 and h3 tags and we also went ahead and pasted in the articles on um, the keywords that need to be included naturally throughout these articles let's go ahead and run this input and once claude is finished we'll paste it into new and writer to see how we did in terms of content optimization okay so this is the full output that we got back from um, claude we get a pretty long and in-depth article about how to skillfully answer what is the biggest weakness in a job interview so I really like Claude because it does a good job at creating paragraphs and lists. And it's also really good at writing very succinctly. It's not the longest articles, but it's very concise and to the point. So for example, this article is about 918 words, which we tried to get it to 1700, but we weren't able to do so. But if you saw some of my previous videos, if you wanted to get longer articles with Claude, you just tell it to generate each section by section. So let's go ahead and copy this over. And we're going to paste this into Duran Writer and see how we do in terms of content optimization. And right off the bat, we have a score of 39. Now, I'm not sure if that is because of the word length, but let's go ahead and add a title and meta description to see if we're able to get a higher content optimization score. 
So when we added in a title and a meta description that we got from Claude, we can see here that we jumped to a 59, which is almost a 60, which is close to the competitor's best. So that's actually really good because we haven't even actually went through and done some manual optimization. Now you can't just go ahead and throw a blog post onto New and Writer and expect to get an 80 plus. You need to actually go ahead and manually include your terms in articles, include your terms in headers. If you go through your H1 headers, your H2 headers, and just go ahead and include those keywords um, naturally, then you will definitely be able to um, increase your score. Because again, you can't just expect yourself to get an 80 plus in terms of optimization just from Claude, you need to actually go ahead and do some manual um, optimization. But as you can see, you're able to do a lot of the heavy lifting with Claude and New and Writer, and you're able to write fairly optimized content, and then you can go ahead and manually optimize to whatever number you would like to get to. So that's my workflow for using Claude in addition with New and Writer. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, or if you want to see any of the prompts that I use in today's video, I'll leave it in the description below. If you learned something new, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, stay well.